Good evening folks and welcome to Tech TV. I'm out doing my preparations, getting ready for trimming tomorrow and I've just spotted my up and coming future little helper keeping an eye on me. She really is very keen to get out and help. Not sure mommy will be as happy with the windows getting dirty but anyway I'm going to take you over to a farm where I was trimming at the other day where we brought great comfort to this little cow. I hope you enjoy the trim. Good morning folks and welcome to Tech TV. I don't know what you would call us, but I think we'll go down over the name of Hoof Trimmers. This trim started with the debriding of massive chunks of rugged hoof to get down to the problem. This is a front left foot of this cow and it's her lateral claw that has been affected by the lesion. This white line type lesion has fractured up at the heel. This is a monthly farm, so judging by the huge growth of hoof at the start, this must have come from an injury or a knock of something hard to cause a very inflamed corium, resulting in such a large hoof growth. The inner claw looks sound and able to take a block. It's important to get this claw super level before applying the block. The claw that is getting the block needs to be surgically clean to give the glue the best chance of taking a strong bond. Hello everyone, I'm just out for a walk in this lovely sunflower field. I'd just like to thank you guys for watching our videos and for subscribing. And if you haven't already, please join the Stampede and hit the subscribe button and we would really love to have you on the journey with us. I can't promise you beautiful scenery like this all the time, but this really is lovely today. Take care folks and enjoy the rest of the video.
the glue setting, I remove the dirt and sharp edges as gently as I can. And even at that, I did slightly nick this cow. While this won't affect her healing, it does make me feel bad. But overall, we are here for the greater good of the cow. I hope she will forgive me when she takes her first step out of the crush. salicylic acid bandage and we will soon see how thankful she was. I think she's pretty happy with the job. She even stopped for a quick snack of silage before heading back to the herd. Hello folks and welcome back to the container. I'm almost ready for tomorrow. The only thing that I've got left to do is put some batteries into my remote. Um, Tom actually runs on the same batteries as these, um, but he needs new batteries every day. My remote needs them every three weeks, so that's not too bad. Thanks for watching this episode of Tech TV. And if you haven't already, folks, don't forget to join the Stampede and hit that subscribe button. Take care and see you all soon.